Unless you've been living under a rock recently, you're probably aware that Tesco are now charging for charging on EV chargers. That was a mouthful. <laughs> And today's video, we're going to be discussing how some people have suggested boycotting the supermarket purely over this decision. Well, this video, we're going to be discussing the best possible options I think Tesco should actually do instead of doing their current policy, which benefits not only Tesco, but also EV owners. Before we discuss Tesco charging about charging, we need to discuss what Tesco are charging for charging. And Tesco are charging several rates depending on the speed of the charger. A 50 kilowatt charger is at 50 pence per kilowatt hour. A 22 kilowatt hour charger is 40 pence per kilowatt hour. And finally, a seven kilowatt charger is at a low price of 28p a kilowatt hour. Now, 28p a kilowatt hour is below the government price cap for home users, which is currently 35p. And all these prices, all these prices are way below what Tesco will be charging for energy, what, what they'll be physically buying the energy for, for their energy provider. It, this is way below what they'll be paying. So why are EV owners so angry? Well, firstly, EV owners are actually quite self-entitled. In fact, I've done a video before top right about how self-entitled I think EV owners are. And this has actually happened before. There used to be a company on the motorway service stations over here called Ecotricity. They've been bought out by a company called GridServe, so you might not have heard of them if you're a fairly new EV driver, but Ecotricity, when they first started, they wanted to help kickstart the revolution of EV driving, and they offered putting EV chargers all over the place. Now, it started off with free pin plugs, and then it went to rapids, but they had no charge. They were completely free to use. There was no charge to charge on any of the Ecotricity stations in the very early days to charge your electric car on rapid 22s, uh, free pin plugs when they very first, but they were free, completely free. And after a couple of years, Ecotricity decided it was quite bad business um, losing money and not charging for charging. So they introduced a rate to charge for charging. They introduced a small cost per kilowatt hour. Um, and I think it was a time use uh, period actually when it first came in. So many minutes, you paid for 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. However, at the time when this price got introduced, people went ballistic they went mad that people actually were complaining that this business wanted to charge for charging like they were doing something wrong which obviously they weren't and the same thing here has happened with tesco now tesco said they introduced charging for charging because they wanted to help expand the network now i actually do believe this is one of the reasons but more of a public reason pr reason they've said i actually think the real reason is and they won't say this because of PR reasons. I think the real reason is they were getting abused. And by abused, I mean that people who were using these chargers, believe it or not, weren't shopping at Tesco. In fact, what they were probably doing was living very close by, plugging into these Tesco chargers, charging up at free, um, and leaving the car for there for seven, eight, 12 hours. And they weren't doing a shop for that time. So by charging for charging, you are more likely to be shopping at Tesco on a family shop, maybe for an hour and a half, two hours, in which case you don't mind paying a little bit towards your charging if you need to charge while you're there. Now, I do actually agree with the people who are suggesting boycotting Tesco. Listen to me, right? I am not going to be deliberately boycotting Tesco, but I won't be shopping there as much. And the reason is, at the moment, I've been choosing to shop at Tesco and not because I, you know, want to shop at Tesco, it's because normally I shop at another supermarket, German supermarket around me, Aldi. that's a lot cheaper than Tesco and doesn't offer free charging because they don't have any chargers. So I've been charging at Tesco, even though I've got a home charger, because it's free. Uh, and I'll be there for an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. So I'll get seven kilowatt hours of electricity off my Zoe, uh, Zoe or Corsa or whatever car I'm in at the day. And that free electricity has encouraged me to go to that supermarket and spend money that I wouldn't necessarily have spent at that supermarket. And in reality, even at business price electricity, it's only cost Tesco a quid, but they've lost my custom by charging for electricity. But I do have a solution for them and EV customers that everyone's going to be happy with. My solution is actually that Tesco should charge for chargers. In fact, every little helps. So I actually think they should more than double the price of a Tesco 7 kilowatt charger to 50 pence a kilowatt hour. Now, bear with me. I do have a solution. If you're a customer at Tesco and you shop at Tesco, you have a club card. 
all Tesco customers have club cards. Club cards are literally free money from Tesco and they give you discounted rates and a lot of product in Tesco. So pretty much every customer has a Tesco card. You have your club card and you link it to your Podpoint account. I think everyone knows where I'm going here. You've got 50p a kilowatt hour, but for every pound you spend at Tesco, Tesco will credit your Podpoint account with 50p or 40p say 40p for every pound you spend for every pound you spend if you spend an average shop of 50 pound a week that should give you two hours charging to shop at tesco perfect solution for tesco because it encourages the customers to come back expire these points every seven to eight days and allow the credits to only be redeemed at tesco pod points no other pod points it means that tesco are making customers come back to their store they're getting free charging so they are encouraged to shop there and non-customers non-tesco customers might actually be encouraged to shop at tesco to get these points to redeem cheaper charging and if they don't 50p a kilowatt hour is enough money for tesco to expand the network make more charges but it also means 50p a kilowatt those seven kilowatt charges those customers are paying to also park there and charge even if they're not shopping in store now there is other ways to reduce the cost of charging and in fact one of those ways is being discussed is to scrap vat on charges and if you're interested in learning more about that then check out this video i've done about vat on ev charging 